Hello, in this video we're going to talk about something a little special, a feature that's rarely used and almost completely undocumented. This is Mesh Central support for MQTT. Let's take a look at that now. So some people sometimes ask me, is there MQTT support in Mesh Central? And the answer is yes. Now it is a bit of a hidden feature. If you go and I'm going to switch over to my trusty um, uh, developer server here. If you go into the configuration file, you will have to add in the settings section the following MQTT with an authentication a key ID and key. And so the key ID is a string. You, know, you pick what you want and for the key you pick a long secret string. Now you will have to keep those secret, uh, especially the key, not the key ID. And you will have to have them be the same if you have multiple server uh, that are peering. Now these will be used to generate uh, keys for each client that will be able to connect to your server. And also putting this section will obviously enable MQTT support in your server. So let's take a look at what happens when you enable MQTT support. Well I'm going to click on a device and you will have this extra link at the bottom, get MQTT credentials for this device. You click on it and it gives you a blob of JSON. And basically what this does is it creates um, a special user and uh, gives you the hashes and special keys so that the MQTT client can connect to the uh, Mesh Central server. So uh, obviously, by the way, when you add this section here to the server, you will need to restart the server and additional modules will be loaded uh, for the MQTT broker to be installed inside the Mesh Central server. Okay, so what you do is you are going to take this and you're going to have to cop and cut and paste it into an MQTT client. Now there is a sample client that I have on the website and what you do is you create a uh, temp folder and then you put this file MQTT client.js then um, and by the way I'm going to leave the link to this file it's a JS file you can edit yourself and you um, in fact what I'm going to do is show you what the, it contains so this is the entire content of that file and basically you get it at this URI and before you run it you have to do npm you, you basically put it in a temporary folder and you run npm install mqtt to install one of the dependencies or the only dependency and then the credentials here this is the block that you get from uh, the, your mesh central server so what you do is you copy this here copy and then you paste it right here and I'm going to remove the semicolon and paste it right there and say save. And so there I updated this MQTT client with these credentials. And now what all I need to do is run it. So the way you run it is you, you go in your temp folder and you type node MQTT client to run this file. And as soon as you run it, You'll notice for this computer here that I grabbed the MQTT login uh, credentials for and put it inside this client. If I go ahead and run, you'll see that it says MQTT channel connected. If I do control C to break it, of course it will be removed. If I add it again, if I run it again, it'll connect back again. Okay, so, once you, so basically what you've done is that you've connected this MQTT client as this computer, as an additional channel for this computer here. And each computer in your server will need to have different uh, login identifiers, you know, login key. So anyway, once you got that done, one thing you can do is you can, for example, click action, wake up to wake up a computer. And you'll see that um, in addition to doing the normal wake actions, the, um, the 
mesh control server will also send a wake action over the MQTT channel to that computer. And you can do that for other actions here. Other, another thing you can do is go in console, and normally uh, you see agent is online, but in this case you'll see agent is online, MQTT is also online. And so if I type a command here like help, this goes to the agent, but on the bottom right of this window, you will see MQTT, and now I can type, for example, help here, and all the it will send the help command over as a console command to the MQTT client that you have. And in this case, if you look at the source code, if the topic is a console command, then it publishes back echo plus whatever I sent. So it just echoes back, you know, uh, whatever I sent here. And so this is why you see this echo right there. But you can see how you can just quickly modify this code to do whatever you want. So if you want to add special commands to, um, you know, do special logging or start the apps or whatever, you just do that all here, and then you would be able to type like help, and then you would you would return your help commands, and then type some command and and get the answer back and so on. And by the way, this is this is not um, it's not only when you you get a message a command on the console that you can reply. You can reply anytime you want. So anytime you have some event, you can publish as a console the whatever text string you have, and it will show up in this console for this device at any time. So that's, um, that's it. Now, obviously, as you, you know, if you were to uh, build some stuff, you could modify Mesh Central to add support for more things, but this is like the basics of it. There's another thing I want to show, and that is that this block of credentials that we cut and pasted earlier allows you to connect both to either the uh, WebSocket server or HTTPS server on Mesh Central, and so this is the line to do it, or I can com comment this out, and I can uncomment the TCP or uh, TLS uh, connection to the MPS port. This is, so basically what we're doing here is we're connecting to the, M, the AMT port 4433 usually and connecting there and using that port for, um, for uh, MQTT. So I'm going to save that, do control C, and then, of course, as soon as I disconnect, you see MQ, MQTT has disappeared. We don't see the option here anymore. But if I reconnect, then it goes back online and so on. But here, instead of using WebSocket, I'm using the, um, the different port of uh, Mesh Central to connect my uh, MQTT session. So, in order, um, so I'm going to just recap here. Basically, this is not a super documented feature, this is really intended for developers, allows an MQTT channel to be connected for any given device, that, and that can be used for additional um, things you want to do to that device, integrates with the console, integrates with the uh, command uh, ac power actions of Mesh Central, and basically it's a developer toy that you can use to do a whole bunch of stuff. Hope you like it. Thanks.